Hey guys, it's Ross Gold and on Space Couch today I'm going to be reviewing this Force Collector by Kevin uh, Shinnick, part of the Journey to the Rise of Skywalker. Thoroughly enjoyed this. It's not as good as Lost Stars, but it's very similar in many aspects. So it's all about this young lad, Carr, who's basically at high school and he's got this ability of when he touches something, he gets flashes of images that he can read its history and stuff. But he gets blinding headaches because his power is just suddenly coming upon him so he doesn't know how to control it or if he's going mad or if he's having seizures or whatever. So it's all about him and his friend from high school, Maze, um, on a journey to find out more because he touches these objects and he sees flashes of things to do with the Jedi and so he wants to find out more about that. So they take off in uh, Maze's family uh, ship and her family are first order by the way although she is half alien, her mother is a Miriam um, So. They're off exploring the galaxy, um, just doing a runner from school, basically. And they go to lots of places that we've seen in the films. Excuse me. And um, there are flashbacks of scenes that we recognise. So the first place they go to is Utapau. And they um, come across this uh, shop where there's various artefacts for sale. So he's going to all the junk shops to try and find something Jedi related. So he can read its history. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um... And they're in this place and he holds this uh, charred staff that used to belong supposedly to an Utapauan leader. But when he touches it, he sees a vision of when Kenobi is on Utapau talking to the um, Utapauan. And he's saying, General Grievous is here, please help us. As a flashback of that. So that was really interesting. So the more that he learns, it gives clues to other things. And he wants to go to other places um, to find other artefacts. So they go to Jakku because they've heard stories that Luke Skywalker had pulled starships out of the sky with the Force. So that was a nice callback to um, the was it the Legends of Luke Skywalker, where that is one of the tales that's in there about it, someone supposedly doing that on Jakku. And they run into Unkar Plot, and he has some items for sale because um, Maze has got money. It's a wealthy family she's from. So money impresses some like Uncut Plot. So he shows them some various bits, but they don't really find anything there. But they do stumble across the Millennium Falcon and they sneak inside and he has some visions of what that ship has been through. Um, various battle scenes, going through hyperspace, all that sort of stuff. And this is all set before The Force Awakens, of course, although it can't be set that long before The Force Awakens. So they continue on their journey and they uh, end up on Batu, which obviously is getting a lot of love in the canon. Um, and they end up at Doc Ondar's and um, he can tell there is actually something about this lad. You know, um, he has got some sort of ability, but he's not really uh, impressed with his bargaining style. Uh, he doesn't really know how to negotiate. <laughs> but um, he comes to a sort of agreement where he will let him um, have this broken inquisitor lightsaber that he had touched and gotten a brief vision of um, if he will deliver a package to Mas Kanata on Takadana. So they go to Takadana, the castle is at the height of its powers, uh, all the flags outside, the giant statue, all that. Mas of course also knows immediately that the boy has got uh, talent. Not enough to be a Jedi but he's certainly got skills in other areas. And so she asks him to examine the package that was brought, that he brought to her. And um, it's basically say, no, Doc Ondar gave this to give to me, to give to you, because he figures there's something uh, with you that you might know how to read it. And that package is 3PO's severed arm from the 3PO one shot that got ripped off by some bizarre creature on that hell world that they were on that was just like constant pollution. How he got a hold of that, I have no idea. But when he touches 3PO's arm, he sees everything that 3PO's seen. <coughs> Excuse me. So the prequel era, the original trilogy era, everything leading up to 3PO's arm getting ripped off. And um, that's like his big education into the history of the Jedi. He learns about both of the Skywalkers, as in Anakin and Luke and everything. And all of the stuff that went on, the Clone Wars, Order 66, the Rise of the Empire, Palpatine and everything. And she's not exactly his, um, his mentor, shall we say, but she's trying to guide him. In the same way she tried to guide uh, Finn and Rey when they were at the castle, giving them advice, pointing them in the right direction. Um, basically telling them, you've not got enough of the Force to be a Jedi, but you have got skills. 
that will be useful to you. So they continue on with their journey to um, at, at that point, actually, um, the First Order catches up with Maze because her father's realised she's done a runner from school. They drag her back. So Car is on his own with the droid, um, RZ. And um, he has to continue on his journey. And um, he eventually decides he needs to go home because he's had other visions of stuff that he wants to sort out. So he does go home and it turns out that um, he had a vision of something that came out of the droid. Um, the droid got shot by the First Order when they came to take Maze. And he touched one of the fragments and he saw a conversation that his parents had had about him and his abilities that they'd never told him about, you know, for his own good. So he wants to go home to sort that out. And he does. And they eventually they have the big family conference um, saying, um, you've got abilities, but we didn't know. Or, no, there was a Jedi in your family. His great grandfather, his grandfather's father was a Jedi who left the Jedi Order. Um, so he wasn't killed in Order 66. So he escaped, had a family and just disappeared into history. But they didn't know if that meant that he had abilities. They thought he might have just had a tumour because he's always having these blinding headaches and he would pass out for ages every time he had one of these visions when the powers first started coming upon him. But over the course of his journey throughout the galaxy, he's able to control it much more and it's very simple for him to read these items now without any pain. So they basically tell him um, where they think uh, the great-grandfather went to to hide. So him and Maze, because now that he's back on the home world, she's there, they managed to talk her parents into giving her the ship again so they can go and figure out what's going on with his family. They haven't mentioned much about the Jedi stuff, of course, not to the First Order. So they go off on that planet and it turns out that grandfather's still alive, the great-grandfather is still alive, just alive long enough for them to get there, of course. Kind of like when Luke Skywalker goes back to see Yoda the last time. He's there and then gone. But yes, he figures out his destiny. He's not a force user, he's a force collector. Um, he can read the objects and that's his destiny, not to be a Jedi, but to be someone who collects these items, who reads their history and writes it down uh, to remember the past of the Jedi and everything like that. So yes, fantastic book, really enjoyed it. The way that Lost Stars stitched those characters into the old canon, this does a great job of stitching the old parts of the canon into the current era. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I do highly recommend it. Force Collector by Kevin Shinnick. It's a very straightforward read. Like I say, very, very enjoyable and a lot of fun. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Why don't you let me know what you guys think if you've read it? Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for a common topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.